The moon is the closest celestial body to Earth. That much everyone knows. But what many people don't realize is that, despite being our nearby neighbor, it's a world that's almost completely inert, with very little geological activity. Unlike Earth, which shakes, groans, and reshapes itself with earthquakes, volcanoes, and tectonic plate movements, the moon lives in relative silence. This behavior is directly linked to its size and internal structure. However, with the advancement of technology and the growing number of satellites orbiting our natural satellite, scientists began to notice something unexpected. Cracks are appearing and spreading across its surface. So, why is the moon breaking apart? To understand this, we need to talk about the invisible forces at play between Earth and the moon. A classic example is the tides. Everyone's heard about the rising and falling sea levels caused by the moon's gravity. This force pulls Earth's oceans more strongly on the side directly facing the moon, creating high tides. Interestingly, the opposite side of the planet also experiences high tides, caused by the centrifugal force of the Earth-Moon system's rotation. And then there's the Sun, which joins this dance and adds its influence to the phenomenon. But what few people know is that tides don't only affect the oceans. Earth's own crust also undergoes small deformations known as Earth tides. These changes are far more subtle than those we see in the seas, but are important from a geological perspective. The friction generated by these tides also has another surprising effect. It's gradually slowing down Earth's rotation. It's estimated that our days get about 1.7 milliseconds longer every century. And it doesn't stop there. This deceleration directly affects the Moon's orbit, which, year after year, is moving away from Earth by about 3.8 centimeters. That's right, the Moon is slowly drifting away from us. And this figure has been measured with extreme precision thanks to reflectors placed on its surface during the Apollo missions. On top of that, the Moon plays a fundamental role in the stability of our planet. Without it, Earth's axial tilt could vary in a much more chaotic way over time, and it's precisely this stable tilt that keeps the seasons more balanced and the climate relatively predictable, creating ideal conditions for the emergence and development of life. In short, the Moon acts like the stabilizing weight on Earth's cosmic scale. Now, it's important to remember that this gravitational influence isn't a one-way street. Earth also exerts its force on the Moon, and that leads to a phenomenon known as lunar tides. Small deformations in the Moon's crust caused by Earth's gravitational pull. Even though these changes are minimal, they play a key role in the evolution of the Moon's surface cracks. That's because these forces act on existing fractures, causing them to slowly expand. This effect becomes even more significant when we consider that the Moon's interior continues to cool over time. As it cools, its crust contracts, generating internal stresses. When these stresses combine with the tidal forces from Earth, the result can be the emergence of new cracks or the growth of those already there. It's as if the moon is shrinking from the inside while being pulled from the outside. And what's most fascinating is that all of this shows us how the Earth-Moon system is deeply dynamic. The moon doesn't just influence Earth's tides and climate, it is also shaped by our planet's gravity. This constant exchange of forces has molded both celestial bodies for billions of years. But there's more. The difference in gravity between Earth and the moon helps explain why these lunar cracks are so deep and extensive. The Moon's gravity is much weaker than Earth's, which means that when an object strikes it, debris can be launched much farther. Also, because there's less resistance, cracks can stretch across vast areas. While Earth is better equipped to absorb cosmic impacts thanks to its thick atmosphere and constant geological activity, the Moon isn't as lucky. It doesn't have an atmosphere to burn up or slow down meteors and asteroids. So nearly everything that hits the moon impacts it at full force, causing deep and permanent damage. Over billions of years, the moon has been bombarded by countless asteroids, which not only shaped its appearance with visible craters, but also caused significant internal fractures. And what sets these cracks apart from craters is precisely their depth and lateral spread. While a crater is more superficial, these fissures can reach nearly 19 kilometers deep and spread across hundreds of kilometers on the lunar surface. Simulations done by scientists suggest that asteroid impacts of about 800 meters in diameter are already capable of creating this kind of extensive fracture. This supports the theory that, in the early days of the solar system, the moon was heavily fractured. Its crust was shaped by immense forces, leaving scars that can still be seen today. One reason these cracks are so impressive is the moon's structural fragility compared to Earth. With weaker gravity and no dense atmosphere for protection, our satellite is constantly exposed to direct impacts from small and medium-sized asteroids. On Earth, many of these objects are destroyed as they enter the atmosphere. 
burning up in the sky and turning into a beautiful light show. But on the moon, each one hits the ground at full strength like a bullet hitting an unshielded target. This creates perfect conditions for increasingly large fractures. And we're not just talking about surface scratches. These cracks can reach depths of nearly 19 kilometers and stretch laterally for hundreds of kilometers, which is quite alarming when compared to any tectonic fault on Earth. They're like deep cuts in the moon's body, as if it had been torn from the inside. And these structures aren't just ancient scars from a violent past. Recent images, captured by ultra-high-resolution cameras sent into lunar orbit, show that many of these fissures are geologically young. That's revealed by an important detail, the absence of craters on top of them. Since the moon has no atmosphere, there's no wind, rain, or any type of erosion that could erase surface marks. Craters, once formed, stay visible for billions of years. So if a crack cuts through a region without any overlapping craters, that's a clear sign the crack appeared later, meaning it's a recent event in geological terms. These pieces of evidence reinforce the idea that the moon still has some internal activity, even if it's subtle. It's not a completely dead body, as long believed. Although we don't have active volcanoes or tectonic plates like on Earth, so-called moonquakes, have been recorded by sensitive instruments placed there during past missions. These seismic events, while milder than earthquakes on Earth, might be linked to the expansion of some of these cracks. One of the most studied hypotheses is that these fissures are growing due to thermal contraction. As the moon's interior cools slowly, its crust shrinks, generating stresses that can cause ruptures or widen existing fractures. When we add this to the gravitational forces coming from Earth, we get an environment where these cracks can continue to expand over time. Even without Earth's tectonic dynamism, the moon proves to be surprisingly alive in its own rhythm. The images captured in recent years leave no doubt that our natural satellite is still undergoing transformation. The presence of these geological faults, some of them truly colossal in size, reveals a world more active and intriguing than we once thought. And what's most interesting is that, due to the absence of an atmosphere, everything that happens up there remains preserved like a natural record. It's as if the lunar surface were an open book, written with impacts, cracks, and seismic silences. Every fissure, every cut in its crust, is a page in the history of a celestial body that still holds many secrets. Studying these cracks is, therefore, a true journey into the moon's past and, by extension, into the history of the solar system itself. When we analyze these structures, we not only understand the impacts that shaped the satellite over billions of years, but also the internal processes that continue, subtly, to influence its form. The most recent simulations show that even small celestial bodies, like asteroids less than a kilometer in diameter, were able to leave deep marks on the lunar crust thanks to the combination of no atmosphere and low gravity. In practice, this means the moon records catastrophic space events much more faithfully, and this record is extremely valuable. By studying how the moon was shaped, we can extract information about early Earth, since many of those same impacts also happened here, but their traces were erased over time by erosion, tectonic plate movement, and the action of water and wind. The moon works like a time capsule, freezing in space the memories of a turbulent past that Earth can no longer recount on its own. And even though the moon's cracks don't compare in size to Earth's gigantic mountains, their geological value is immense. They show us that Earth's natural satellite, though small and seemingly static, still has dynamic behavior. A fascinating example is the fact that many of these fractures have been monitored by missions like the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, LRO which reveals the topography and youth of some of them in stunning detail. This data also raises important questions about future crewed missions to the moon. After all, if some of these cracks are expanding, it raises concerns about the structural stability of the lunar crust. Building bases or installing scientific equipment near these geological faults could pose a risk, even if small. And understanding how these fractures evolve over time is essential to ensure the safety of future human operations on the lunar surface. It's also worth noting that the term moonquake isn't just a metaphor. During the Apollo missions, seismographs placed on the moon's surface recorded four different types of tremors, some originating deep within, others more superficial, possibly caused by temperature variations. This information is still being analyzed today and helps piece together the puzzle of lunar geology. Amid all these discoveries, one fact remains clear. The moon is not just a passive satellite orbiting our planet. It constantly interacts with Earth, is influenced, gradually changes, and influences life here in return. The gravitational connection between the two bodies is so intense and so ancient that it has literally shaped the history of our planet. 
Knowing that the moon is slowly drifting away from us, centimeter by centimeter, and that its surface is filled with scars, some ancient, others still growing, makes it all the more fascinating. And it reinforces the idea that even the quietest bodies in the solar system can hide incredible stories beneath their cold, marked surfaces. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe, leave a like, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.